What is going on, guys? This is Talk Sports Land, and today I am back with a brand new video for you guys today. Today, guys, I'm going to be doing my New York Giants 2022 record prediction right here. I got it all printed out right here. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to be doing my uh, Giants record prediction for this upcoming year. So, guys, week one, Giants versus Titans. I have the Titans winning that game. Um, I could really see the, this being a really close game, which I do think it will be a really close game, though. But I do think the Titans are going to come out when they win this game. There, they got King Henry. If I got to make a prediction right now, I'd say maybe thirty to twenty-three Titans. All right, week two we have the Panthers at Giants. Giants win home opener. Uh, week two and start off one and one. This will be the very first time since twenty thirteen that Giants have not started off zero and two. That is pathetic. I mean, that is pathetic. That it's been eight years since they have not started off zero and two. Yeah, Giants win. Sam Darnold is not that good, great of a quarterback. He's got good weapons, but nothing really special. Uh, Rob Anderson is probably his best. But uh, yeah. Giants win one and one. I right, week three. This we got the Dallas Cowboys on Monday Night Football at MetLife Stadium. You know, I'm gonna have to give us an L on that one. I don't think we're gonna be well. I don't think we're gonna be playing well that game. If I gotta say for that score for this game, I've gotta say probably I'll say 38. Uh, let's see, 21 Cowboys. Week four, Bears at Giants. I have the Giants winning that game. Um, they will be two and two if they win this game. Um, at Life Stadium, you got Daniel Jones versus Justin Fields. You got Evan Neal um, versus Robert Quinn. You've got Kayvon Thibodeau versus the Bears offensive line. So, yeah, it's going to be a really good game. I mean, the Giants do win that game. If I had to make a score prediction, I'd say 20 to 17 Giants. All right, week five, this is, this is where it gets tough. Week five, the Giants at Packers in London, which I'm very excited for. Giants at Packers uh, week five. And by the way, guys, they are sitting out two and two right now. So, yeah, I mean... Giants at Packers week five in London. I mean, I'm reading off a piece of paper too, so that's why I keep looking at it from the screen. But anyway, I feel like the Packers are going to win that game. Aaron Rodgers, um, who are some of their wide receivers? I don't, Christian Watson, who they drafted. Of course, they lost Devontae Adams. Um, I, I almost said Marcus Valdez Scantling, but they also lost Scantling. So I think the Packers won that game. If I had to give the score, I'd say, I'd say give me 30 to the Packers, and I'd say give me. I don't know, 13 to the Giants. I think it'll be a blowout, honestly. All right, week six, Ravens at Giants. This one, I think, is be the biggest blowout. Uh, you know that you got the Giants sitting here two and four. It's not looking too well to start off the first six games of the year. I don't think the Giants are going to win. Even though they are at home, they've got the home crowd in their favor. they got the crowd in their fa favor, but I just don't see a win here. Uh, I see, if I have to predict this score too, I'd say probably uh, 40 to... 17 Ravens. Yes, I do feel like they will get blown out. All right, week seven, Gi Giants at Jaguars. I do have the Giants winning this one in Jacksonville. The Jacksonville Jaguars, I feel like, will be probably the fourth, fifth worst team in the NFL this year, which will be an improvement because they've been the worst in these past, like in the past two years, which, which should be good. Those should be good. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't see the Jaguars winning. It's going to be Evan Ingram's revenge game against the Giants, which I'm excited, I'm, I'm excited about that. See uh, Evan Ingram play against the Giants, but yeah, Giants win. They're currently sitting out. Let's see, would it be zero and one, one and one, one and two, two and two, two and three, two and four? Yep, it's three and four. Okay, so yeah, three and four. So yeah, Giants win. If I had to get a prediction, I'd say twenty three. No, twenty twenty eight to uh, twenty. How about that? Twenty eight twenty eight twenty one. How about twenty eight twenty one? Giants at Seahawks week eight. I have them losing this game to drop the three and five. Yes, I know. I know Seattle lost Russell Wilson. I know Seattle isn't really looking that good on paper, and I mean they had a good draft. They selected, in my opinion, the third best offensive tackle in this draft, um, Charles Cross at pick number was it eight, nine. So yeah, I I do feel like they could win. That Giants could win this game. I mean it's in Seattle. You got the twelfth man. I mean, Seattle's always a terrible place to be playing. Even though the Giants have beat Seattle these past few years in Seattle, I just don't see them beating Seattle this year. All right, week nine, we have the bye week. So, honestly, as a Giants fan going into this bye week at three and five, I'm going to probably say tank at this point because if you look, oh no, if you look at the rest of the schedule here, as I, if I'm holding this paper right here, the, the next, like, three games, or the next two games, are very winnable games. Very winnable and very winnable, we, we, like, Games that we really should win. All right, so week 10, Texans at Giants. I have the Giants winning that one. Easy win. I, I don't think the Texans are going to be that bad this year, but I don't think they're going to be great. I don't think they'll make the playoffs. I think they'll go like 6-11, 7-10, which, of course, would be an improvement um, for them because they were like, what were they, like 4-13 and 13 last year. So, yeah, Giants move to 4-5. and five. All right, Giants play the Lions week 11 at MetLife Stadium. The Giants are going to win this game, too. 
against Jared Goff, Amon, Amon Saint, Amon, Amaron Saint Brown, almost said Amon Garner, Amaron Saint Brown, Quintess Cephas, T.J. Hawkinson. Um, those are the weapons for the uh, Lions. So yeah, I feel like the Giants' weapons like Kadarius Tony, Kenny Galladay, um, Ricky Seals Jones at tight end, Jordan Aikens at tight end, Saquon Barkley, Daniel Jones, Sterling Shepard. I feel like I feel like that those players will be out. I think like those players will outplay the Detroit offense. Yeah, guys, uh, I have them at five and five so far in eleven weeks. All right, here's where it gets tough. Giants at Cowboys Thanksgiving Day. I'm excited. I'm excited for some Thanksgiving Day football as the Giants travel to Dallas, but I don't see much of this happening. Um, if I have to say, I'd give this score prediction to Dallas probably 35, no, 30, let's say 35, no, wait, wait, 30 to about, let's see, let's say 20, 30, 30 to 20 to 23, 24, 25, in that, in that range. Um, but yeah, I do feel like Dallas will win. I feel like it's going to be a close game. I do feel like it will be a close game, but I feel like Dallas will win. So now we're at five and six. All right. Week 13 commanders at Giants. I have the Giants winning that one to go to six and six. Honestly, as a Giants fan right here, sitting at 6-6, six and six, knowing that we have to win these next few games and make it... Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry for the cutoff there. So, anyways, so as I was saying, Giants win Week 13. Anyway, okay, so Week 14, Eagles at Giants. Eagles win. I mean, Giants probably get killed that game, too. Just like how Week 3, they'll get killed in Week 5. So, yeah, Eagles win against the Giants there. Yeah. Week 15, Giants at Commanders. Commanders win. Uh, since in Washington, I do feel like they will win that game. Week 16, Giants-Vikings Christmas Eve. I have the Vikings winning that game. Um, it would be nice to have like a. It would be an early Christmas present to uh, get the Giants win, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So yeah, Giants are sitting at six and nine, week seventeen. Giants, uh, Colts at Giants, New Year's Day. I had the Giants winning that game since it's at home. I feel like the home crowd will be really into that game. So yeah, I feel like the Giants won that game. So they're seven and nine, week eighteen to close out the year. Giants and Eagles. The Eagles win. So yeah, I feel like the Eagles will win that game since in Lincoln Financial Field. I feel like we'll get slapped by the Eagles, Cowboys. I feel like we'll split against the Commanders. So. 1-5 in the division, 7-10 and 10 all in total, 3rd place in the NFC East. So yeah, guys, that's my Giants record prediction. Not nothing, not 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 bad of a prediction, in my opinion, but it's just we're a rebuilding team, and well, I don't think we're going to be that good, that good this year. I just hope Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, Kenny Galladay, Shepard, um, Ricky Seals-Jones, Gary's Tony, Andrew Thomas, Kayvon Thibodeau on the defensive end, can, and, and Evan Neal can just like really... Uh, really shine this year. So yeah, seven and ten, third place in the NFCs. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button down below. So yeah, guys, this is Talking Sports Land. I'm out. Peace. God bless.